Hello, folks. We are on a quick overnight trip. And I have, as promised in my last film, I have a very special guest with me. We have Elliot, who is currently enjoying his first ever dehydrated summit to eat meal. What have you got there, matey? Is it the pasta bolognese? Pasta bolognese. Pasta bolognese is what we've got. And uh, I'm about to tuck into my beef stew as well. I've got a coffee here. Um, we pitched up, well, we pitched up a little bit earlier than we intended really because it rained. So we had to get the tent up quite quick. Um, but it's Elliot's first ever camping trip, isn't it, dude? Well, anyway, before I went to having my first ever outdoor meal in the tent, I just went for a little exploring. Where did you go? I just went up to the trig point. Good boy. Leave, leave the moth alone. Leave the moth, he's fine. What did you do at the trig point? I got on top of the trig point and I drank my juice. Ah, there you go. So uh, yeah, we've got a, we've got one happy chap here. Um, I'm not quite so thrilled because <laughs> I'm going to show you this. Um, right, that's Elliot's uh, air mattress that we've brought. And here's my teeny tiny little thermo rest here. Um, we definitely need to upgrade Elliot's uh, mattress because it's huge. Takes up much more than half of the tent and um, he's only tiny. So yeah, that's, that's an interesting conundrum we've got at the moment. Also his sleeping bag um, that we've been using on family camps uh, for him really doesn't compress down very small at all. So... Um, so yeah, we I struggled to get anything other than his sleeping bag in his backpack, didn't I mate? We had your sleeping bag in there and your water bottle wedged down the side and that was about it, wasn't it? Speaking of water bottle, yeah. can I have a drink? Of course you can, my mate. Here it is. Thank you. Okay. You being careful with that food, yeah? Not getting any on your sleeping bag? No. Nope. Right. Only a little bit. Okay, so as I said, we're just we're just getting our meal on the go. Um, I'll have another chat with you in a little while when we might just get out of the tent. There's not a huge amount to show you today, folks. Uh, we're up on the Long Mind. Uh, we've not got anywhere spectacular, just to one of the Shropshire Mafia's regular little spots. Um, and that's uh, that's about all there is to say for now. Mm. Are you enjoying that, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. So this is Elliot's uh, first wild camp, as you know, and obviously, being who I am, Leave No Trace is featuring quite heavily in our discussions this evening. He is going to be a major exponent of Leave No Trace. If I have anything to say about the matter at all. I don't think, we, we don't need to have another discussion about Leave No Trace, you know my feelings on it. You know how I feel a, a wild camp should be conducted. But I'm still yet to hear a, a convincing suggestion on how to get the message to the masses. So, uh, any further ideas, pop them in the comment below. And uh, it occurred to me that I've got a half decent view north here. So I may have one last ditch attempt at capturing Neowise tonight. Um, we shall see. Elliot, do you want me to open that for you? Don't worry. Got it, right, be careful because it'll be hot. Okay. Rice pudding time. Right guys, I'll see you in a bit. Okay folks, I thought I'd start a little bit of a um, little bit of a series of leave no trace tips. Um, 
just to just to get the get the word going on things that we can do to try and um, relieve the strain on our fragile ecosystems that are getting uh, that are getting abused recently so uh, tip number one from me is a toilet tip um, and you know we all do it some of us manage to uh, to save ourselves the whole time we're out if it's just a single overnighter that can happen but if you're like if you're anything like me you're so unavoidably regular um, that, that it has to happen one way or another so tip number one from me is this always carry a pack of these these are biodegradable wet wipes okay and I have found it well it doesn't matter that they're biodegradable actually as you'll understand from the next thing that I'm going to tell you um, I have found that empty dehydrated meal packets like this are absolutely ideal as long as you can aim um, for carrying out things that you don't want um, that you don't want to be getting all over your hands obviously and now I know people out there are going to be saying no no bury it that's fine um, as long as you bury it deep enough of course because you don't want wild animals coming and digging stuff up and if you are going to bury it then definitely biodegradable ones of these are a hundred percent the way to go um, some people say that you can burn these once they're in the hole um, but either way what I don't like, what no one needs to see ever, is these sat alongside a trail or under a tree somewhere, um, or covering a, you know, a pile of something unpleasant. No one needs that. No one wants that. That is unacceptable. Okay, so that is wild camping. Leave no trace. Tip number one from Wild Astro: um, wet wipes and an empty meal packet for your business. Hello, um, this, actually, we're going to bed now, but Daddy's going to give me some cuddles after we've done this video. <laughs> of course I am. What's your name, Daddy? What's my name? You know what my name is, you cheeky monkey. Right, okay, bud. So, what do you, what do you make of your first wild camp, then? What do you think? Well... It's kind of fun. It is kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a bit cold and rainy and windy, hasn't it? But have we enjoyed it? Yes. Yes, we have. Okay. So when we get up in the morning, we're going well, to go to sleep now. we've sort of been in the tent all day. We've been in the, we've been in the tent quite we've a long time. We've done some exploring. Yeah. Though. We've had a little bit of an explore around the Long Mind, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. But we've, we've seen some horse poo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I told you, though. It's we only... think... We think we've been camping where wild horse ponies have been. Yeah, we are, aren't we? Definitely. Because there are wild ponies on the Long Mind. Okay, right, so we're going to bed now. Um, and then we'll get up in the morning and pack up. But what's the most important thing we have to remember when we get up in the morning? Leave no trace. Leave no trace, good boy. And that, folks, is how we're going to get the message across. I'm afraid it's going to get worse before it gets better, but grassroots, I think, is where we have to start. So, this is me and Elliot signing off for the evening. Say night-night, El. Night-night. Night-night, folks. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, Elliot has just woken up from his first night of wild camping. What did you think? Well, what's so. You enjoyed it? Yeah. Did you sleep all night? Yeah. You did. Excellent. And what woke? What was it that woke us up this morning? The sheep. Sheep, yeah. Sheep has come very close to the tent and had a good old shout at us this morning. Do you think you'd still be asleep now if the sheep hadn't come? Yeah. You do? Yep. I wish that sheep would have never got so close to our tent. Well, you can get out and give him a good telling off in a minute, can't you? Okay. Okay. So we're going to have some breakfast now. What are we having for breakfast? Raspberry porridge. Excellent stuff.
raspberry porridge. And are you going to let everyone know what you think of it when you've tried it? Yes. Good stuff. Okay, because you like raspberries, don't you? Yes. Good, good. Right. Back with you in a sec. Sure, we've got all the dry bits out. What, the bit with the raspberries? Yeah. <laughs> So Elliot is just finishing off his summit to eat morning oats with raspberry. What do you think, mate? Awesome. Yeah? Tasty? Yeah. Okay. Can you, can you pass can you really taste the raspberry in it? Yeah. Yeah? And it's not too sloppy? Has dad has daddy done a good job of making it properly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Wow. Big full mouth. Yeah. Right, so what are we going to do next, do you think? No idea. No idea? Uh -huh. Well, I think what we'll do next, folks, is probably start packing away. Because this big old airbed that Elliot's been on all night is going to be quite a job. Mm. Getting it down small enough to fit in a bag. Hello. Well, we're just in the process of packing up and I wanted to show you something. Um, if you've seen the first video uh, of mine where I met Dave outdoors uh, for the first time and we came up here to this very spot, um, you'll know I, kn I mentioned a, uh, a fire scar that was in the ground. Now, I reckon that was probably nearly a year ago now. Uh, so... I wanted to show you what a year's healing on a ground fire looks like. And we pitched right next to it, here it is. So that was a fresh fire scar, all black and nasty about a year ago. Um, and you can see there is some, the grass has started to, to recover, it's done quite a good job, but there are still parts of the soil where the grass hasn't managed to get to. so. You know, there are still little bits of burnt wood in there. That's the kind of scar you leave if you just drop a fire on the ground and don't look after it. Um, the strange thing is, it looks as if whoever did this has cut away the turf, you know, to have their fire and then just not bothered putting it back again afterwards. It, it's... It's sad because our countryside is getting you know just covered in in horrible marks like this and this is a small one this is a very very small little i mean it's about what 18 inches across maybe two feet we've been seeing some huge huge fire scars haven't we recently and uh yeah it, it's 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 one of those things, isn't it? If you arrive somewhere and there's a fire scar there already, then you're much more likely, if you don't follow the leave no trace ethics, you're much more likely to think, okay, someone's had a fire here before, I can do it again. No. I'm, don't get me wrong, look, I'm not, I'm not against fires. I'm not against fires. 
but there's a better way of doing it than having it on the ground. Okay, there are too many options now for raising your fire up off the ground to to ignore that possibility any any longer. You know, there are bush boxes, there are raised fire platforms. You can get lots and lots of heat out of even the tiniest little bush box. Um, so folks, raise your fire up. Raise your fire up off the ground. There's no need to pop it on the ground anymore. Um, that's it. That's my that's my two pence worth on fires. Um, I'm not going to start arguments with anyone over it. I don't. I don't need to have a, a huge debate. If you are absolutely dead set that your way of having a fire on the ground leaves no trace, well, then more power to you. But how anyone can believe that lighting a fire on the ground can do no damage that I don't really get you might leave no evidence of it on the surface but you're certainly leaving damage underneath so just think about it because we've got to protect these landscapes um, we're the responsible ones we're the ones that love the places we get out to and to protect our own way of life and our own future that we that we love coming out here to do we've got to take responsibility for what we do and that really is my two pence worth right so Ellie we're all packed up Yep. Ready to go back to the car, yes? Yeah. So what did you think of your first wild camping experience? Awesome. It was awesome, okay. And what's the most important thing that we've done this morning when we Leave packed up? no trace. Leave no trace is exactly right. Like a bigger one. Hmm. Sheep, do you think? Nah, I don't think so. I think we've got us another wild camper, folks. Folks, we've got back to the car now, and uh, Elliot is filling up on some lovely Kendall mint cake, chocolate coated, and uh, that's it for another trip. So uh, all that remains uh, for me to say is thank you ever so much for coming with us on this trip. Thank you for watching. Uh, as always, it's great to have you along. Um, my next trip is going to be Wild Astro's return to Snowdonia. And as I said before, there's only one place uh, that, that I can realistically go um, for a almost a rebirth, if you like, of... Uh, of being able to go back there so i will be heading for Kader idris uh, and that will be next weekend and um, so please join me for that yeah it's likely to be um it's likely to be pretty epic 
and uh, possibly a bit emotional. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you join me for that. If you like what you've seen on this uh, film today, please uh, hit that like button, leave a comment or ask me any questions below um, and subscribe, share the video with your friends, hit that subscribe button and, and the little bell uh, so that you don't miss any of my upcoming films. Um, but other than that, I will see you on the trail. Say goodbye, Elliot. Bye. And this is Richie for Wild Astro, signing off. Mm -hmm.